This is one of those heavy situations I don't usually like to talk about. I usually aim for the goofier stories where we just kind of point and laugh at some clownery and some general dog shittery that's going on around the internet. But the situation that's happening with Amaranth is an extremely serious one, and it is one that I'd like to talk about since I've seen some of the worst takes all of humanity's ever concocted surrounding this. Now, for those that don't know if you haven't been on Twitter today, a lot of clips have been surfacing from Amaranth's stream from last night where she went live, well, she was already live, but she unmuted during an argument with her husband over the phone. And this troglodyte sounds like an absolutely unhinged maniac. I watched the entire VOD to get the full context surrounding this entire situation, and I can say with a high level of confidence that this is an actual abusive lunatic. Now before getting into the clips, I want to make it known that I'm basing that on more than just the phone call argument. Obviously anyone with ears is going to reach the same conclusion because he comes across extremely abusive in the phone calls as well. But she goes further showing some of the damage he's done to the house in fits of rage. For instance, she said she locked herself in her room one time and in response he kicked the door in and shows the damage to the door how it's all fucked up, it's now missing like the hinge and everything, and then shows damage to a nearby wall, and then also shows text messages that she received from him, threatening to financially ruin them because she wasn't replying to him fast enough. Now last quick note before getting into the clips, I'm not Amaranth's PR manager, I'm not here to change your mind if you don't like her or her content, but you need to accept that just because you don't like someone's content, that doesn't mean that they're deserving of treatment like this. Abuse isn't okay in any circumstance. Just because you might not be a fan of her doesn't mean that you can like wiggle your finger and celebrate that she's miserable or something that's so fucked up. I've already seen a ton of disgusting worms blaming her for all of this and being happy that she's being abused because they're not a fan of her streams or the fact she has an OnlyFans. It's absolutely fucking despicable shit. Exactly. Because I'm gonna let you say what you think you heard. But you... then I'm gonna say what I thought I said. But you cannot interrupt mine because I'm not gonna interrupt your- What are you saying? You... Why did you say you were gonna kill my dogs? Leave the house. Okay, I can leave the- I... You know what? Actually, I don't- I shouldn't leave the house because my dogs are here. We'll take the dogs and leave. The man's voice you're hearing on the phone that sounds like a nine-year-old getting his balls squeezed at the doctor during a physical with that helium-high screaming, screeching voice, that's her husband, and he's melting down over an argument they had earlier. And I'm going to tell you what it's about, but you're not going to believe me. I watched the whole VOD and I can confirm, based on everything I've seen here, this argument was because she didn't hear something he said. That simple. So he had asked her a question... She didn't hear it and said, I didn't know you asked a question, basically. She said that, oh, you didn't ask me that question, but he believed he did. So her saying, you didn't ask me that, he took as a personal insult and it led to this massive blow up. That's what started this whole thing. Because she didn't fully hear the question, so didn't know what was asked. And in response to that, in order to prove a point, he threatened to kill her dogs. Totally reasonable thing from a rational person. I'll go ahead and play his side of that uh, statement. Why are you pausing? You didn't ask a question. You said a statement. Did you say that? So Big Bang Theory over here hatched the genius idea, a galaxy brain scheme, to prove that she wasn't hearing everything he said, he then threatened her dog's life. His whole chess master checkmating move here was, I'm going to threaten your dogs because I know you're going to focus on that as opposed to the other stuff I've said. You know, the same response everyone would have, right? Oh, you're not listening to me? 
I'm going to go kill your dogs. Oh, what, you heard that? Weird. You know, like, how dumb can you be? This man is just an actual psychopath. Obviously, she's going to focus on the thing where you're threatening her dog's life out of nowhere. He was upset because she didn't hear the question and then instead said you didn't ask it. If he ever even asked it in the first place, you know, there's no telling for sure. I wasn't fucking there. I wasn't a fly on the wall. But he's mad because she didn't hear the question. And then in order to prove his point that she just didn't hear the question, he threatens her dog's life to show her that she focuses on emotionally distressing things more than his other statements. That's, you fucking dummy, everyone's going to be focusing on emotionally distressing things when it's a goddamn threat. And I said that because I knew when I say that, instantly, you know, we're going to forget what you said and what I said. Both. What? Why do you have to say your name? This man really thinks he's smart. You can tell just by the way he carries himself in this conversation. He really thinks he's some intellectually enlightened being who just found atheism for the first time on Reddit or something. Like, this guy talks like the most pretentious douchebag you'll ever hear. As if his point is the only ever accurate one, and he's so benevolent, he even talks about how he's forgiven her for not hearing him sometimes. Like, what a saint. But I want to quickly address something a lot of, pe a lot of people keep bringing up. The sub-5 IQ take of... Well, she shouldn't have aired this publicly. Uh, all right, Dr. Phil. Jesus Christ. Uh, it, let's tackle that for a moment. Let's go over the reasons why she might want to air this publicly. This man has access to all of her accounts. He has all of her passwords. And in this conversation, even threatens to make fake tweets to ruin her career. And even goes as far as to typing them up, but doesn't hit send. She is basically his prisoner. Because she has tried to go to authorities, at least based on everything I've seen in this VOD, and she has recorded other conversations, but in response, she had her shit broken by him and had her phones taken away by him. Literally got physical with me. And then, like, fucking tried to take my phones away because he was going to destroy my PC when I recorded it. Now he's just trying to say bullshit because he knows he fucked up. He just admitted he was lying. Fucking asshole. So she tried gathering evidence on her own. It was destroyed. She tried calling the police. Apparently that didn't go super well either because he took her phones away. Like, what the fuck else is she supposed to do? I think this was a very good course of action here and publicly airs it all out so that way this can help her in her case in getting away from him. Now, he didn't know this was being streamed, obviously. He was under the impression she had stepped away to take the phone call, but she came back after, I'm guessing, the threats against her dogs and just unmuted and did it publicly. And I do think it was a good, I, I think it was a good decision. I'm the tweet drafted, I'm just send it now. What are you sending? The, the false fucking, um, swatting of your husband. And then having your fucking assistant do it too. You literally tried to take my phone. I got scared because you got physical and I called. Yeah, but I'm tweeting it now, so good but, So you're lying on my Twitter. That's gonna look real good. Sure, whatever. I don't care, I'm tweeting it. I'm Amaranth's assistant, or I'm Amaranth's husband, and she is swatting me and calling the cops and calling it a false abuse claim. She's I didn't me. say you abused me. I called the cops because okay, you literally chat. You literally were on top of me trying to take my phones know, from me. It. You're literally just lying to my Twitter. Yeah, I don't care. I built the Twitter. You used my body to build this empire. And I'm going to get your own fans banned, too. So here he is admitting that he was just going to lie about a story to ruin her career and then get her OnlyFans banned as well. So you can clearly see that he had access to all of her shit. And a lot was revealed here. The reason why Amaranth wasn't more public about her marriage is because he didn't let her. I've been wanting to tell people that, well, let's just stream together. Just tell them that we're fucking married because it's like our relationship would be better if we just stream them. And it's a fighting all the time. No, Mr. I don't, know, I don't say that because it's going to run the business model. It's not time yet. Fuck yourself. I'm done with it. The reason why she started doing hot tub streams and committing the hot tub streams is because he forced her to. 
So a lot of this shit came out about how awful of a person this guy is and how controlling and how scummy and shitty he is. It's literally, I was waiting for a response. You were just calling me crazy then. I didn't say you were crazy. No, 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 no. Dude, I'm gonna give you one last chance. I'm gonna irrevocably fucking destroy everything. I can tell you something that shatters you forever and I'll start tweeting about it too. But what? Why would you want to do that? I don't understand. Because you are literally telling me I did not say something that I literally I said. That's now, okay, you're okay to let me. Right here, I'm going to tell you right now, dude. You're about to lose your entire fucking life in terms of everything that's been built because you're too obstinate to just accept, merely accept that you didn't hear a thing. But I'm already very forgiving about that. This man is so insecure, sensitive, and embarrassing that he just keeps believing that because she said you didn't say that, he is taking it as an insult against his intelligence and he won't stand for it. He believes that she is calling him crazy. And she might not be calling him crazy, but I, as well as everyone else who has seen these clips, is. This man is fucking unhinged. He is crazy. This man is nuts. And he's downright dangerous, I would say. To be threatening the lives of his dogs also makes threats against our horses about how he's going to sell them to meat packaging plants or some shit. Like, the man is not a safe person to be around. Now, one other thing I'd like to get into before showing some more clips is the brain-rotted take that keeps floating around about how this is all manufactured drama and it's fake for the sake of exposure and clout for Amaranth. And I understand why people like to take everything with a grain of salt. I think it's a very good thing to always really try and hyper-analyze everything to make sure that what you're getting is legitimate. Which is why I'm so surprised that after doing that, people still arrived at the conclusion that it's fake. You'd have to be clinically stupid to think that this is fake. Because in order to reach that conclusion, you'd have to ask yourself, why is it fake? What would be the goal? What would Amaranth gain from this? And let's break that thought process down. Why would she fake it? She's already reached like the pinnacle of internet success. She makes over $2 million a month from streaming and OnlyFans. Like that doesn't even count like merch or anything. So she's making plenty of money. So she doesn't need money. So that wouldn't be a reason. She doesn't need exposure because she's one of the most popular streamers on Twitch and most popular OnlyFans models. So that probably wouldn't make any sense. So why would it be fake? There's nothing to gain. There's only things to lose because now it's public that she's married. So that would be a detriment. Even though it's something she wanted to share, there are those delusional weirdos who believe that by donating money to her, they'd get to date her. Like, that's, that's obvious. So this coming out doesn't help her in any way. There'd be no reason why she'd fake this for anything because she has nothing to gain from it. It's just a nonsensical take from people that clearly haven't thought about it for even an iota of a second. Man, we're like, we're in the house now. It's like, the next time when I say plan, do it. Dumb fuck, do you understand like what Plan is talking about? It's like, fuck this, I'm calling you. So I disappeared from stream. Take the call. So I can't, and I tell them I can't talk right now. We're getting Wi Fi. I don't care. You get the call now. Last chance. About to dump your luggage. You know, from the, the, my hotel room. But throwing your stupid merch off the balcony, proceeding to ditch your stuff. You don't need the makeup or the, or the the live view, like the stream epic, or the clothes, huh? Deleting social media in one minute. Buying options that expire and blasting the cash. About to shut down the bank account, your bank account too. Lag is terrible. Stream is garbage. It's like, about to delete Twitter in 30 seconds. If you don't call me, my phone's literally off, right? I'm just like, it literally died. Gonna donate $250,000 to Polo Missy. It's like a bird sanctuary he likes. In the next two minutes, 250 k gone. We'll donate. Pretty alarming stuff here. Just look at these texts. The man is draining their finances faster than a crypto bro investing in the latest shitcoin. Just blasting all their money down the drain. Just fucking shitting it away. Because she wasn't replying to him in a reasonable time. It should be obvious that this isn't healthy behavior from a sane individual. But if you need more evidence of that, let's go later into her stream where she starts showing some of the house itself and some of the damage that he's caused. Script of hell, U T H. You know what you are. I would lock my door, but he broke that too. So, 
best advice I can give during my divorce my grandma gave. This too shall pass. And so I ran in here to call the cops and he literally kicked the door in and broke like this doesn't even have a hinge anymore. What an absolute nightmare. And you want to know what's really sick about the whole thing? There are people saying that she absolutely deserves it because she does OnlyFans. Can you believe how fucked up that is? And also, a lot of the things people shit on Amaranth for, like pretending to be single to get money from simps or whatever, isn't even her idea, apparently. It's her husband, who is controlling every aspect of her life, it seems. He has access to all of her accounts. He's the one who comes up with her schedule and tells her what to do on stream and all of that. So a lot of the things that she gets shit on is actually her husband doing it, making her do it. And yet Amaranth is the one that has to roll with all the punches. And then once she turns off stream after being insulted all day by a ton of people, she then has her husband insulting her and yelling and screaming at her. Fucking unbelievable. The set of circumstances here are so incredibly sad. Like just genuinely awful. And the stream ends in a really concerning way. I'll go ahead and play the ending of the stream to you. Hello. Hey. Uh, I haven't gotten any calls. What are you talking about? Why would you ask me if I'm taking my... This is a scene right out of a horror movie. The door slowly opening up behind her, someone off camera asking if she's taken her medication. I believe it's her assistant. But even Amaranth is confused. Like, why are you asking about the medication? You know, like that that's irrelevant to everything. So the assistant knew what was going on here and for some reason asked about her taking medication. I guess implying that, you know, maybe she's having like some kind of mental breakdown. But that's a fucked up thing to even insinuate because she's not having just some like mental breakdown. Her husband is yelling and screaming at her over an extremely minor issue and threatening to ruin her entire career over it. And making threats against her dogs and her horses. Like, th this isn't just some mental breakdown kind of thing where she, you know, she's off her meds so now she's crazy. Like, her husband has made a massive fucking threat. Not only to her career, but the things she cares about. It's, it's... It's a very serious thing that most people would respond to in the same way. She's just doing it live, probably because she felt like she was out of other options. So, I think it's a really weird thing for her assistant to ask, and the door opening behind her, I think, is eerie. I think that is scary. She hasn't posted since this has happened. I, hopefully, everything's okay, um, but no one knows as of right now. But I think this is an extremely important situation to talk about, because for some reason, people are dismissing it as no big deal, which blows my mind. Like, this is a legitimate case of abuse on stream here. And I don't know why people aren't saying it as such. Granted, most people are, but there still is a community of people that still think it's not an issue and that it's her fault. Why is she staying with an abuser? You know, she brought this on herself. If you're in a toxic relationship, just leave. All things spoken by people that have never even felt the touch of another human being. The absolute worst takes imaginable. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. That's about it. See ya.